Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Chase here. Today I have this house style beat inspired by Dang by Anderson Pock and Mac Miller, produced by Pomo. So, um, if you're looking to learn how to make some house type uh, music or um, using some more jazzy chords, I'm going to break it down for you. So, first, I'm going to play the beat and then I'm going to break it down. Get you up on my mind. repeats um, so the first thing I'm gonna start with uh, is the drums I'm pretty much using a lot of um, count drums so shout out to the count um, he's an amazing producer um, I got uh, some sample packs and I've been using a lot of them recently very good sounds for the style of music he has like a lot of really nice organic vintage drum sounds um, that's some of them kind of sound like they're through tape so with house music you're always gonna start off with the kick on the floor pretty basic stuff um, and then I've got the hat gun on the offbeat the one thing that I really like to do to make my drums um, groove a bit more is sort of quantize my drums and then unquantize them so as you can see here um, where this orange line is would be the downbeat but I've dragged all of the drums a little bit to the right of it. So it's just delayed a tiny bit. So it makes it swing, swing more. Got an open hat. Clap. And that and with the claps, I have one bigger one that hits first. And then a sort of like a group clap for the first one. And then a really mono single clap and we got a cowbell loop a shaker loop all the shaker and in percussion is very important for the groove and a tambourine loop as you can see here i have this cowbell loop in the middle shaker pan to the left and the tambourine pan to the right i think it's really important to create space with your drums and not just have everything up the middle i do like keeping the Claps and the kick in the middle, but then panning a lot of that percussion to make it more interesting. So again, solo the drums for you guys. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna get the melodic elements. Uh, I'm gonna start with the bass. This is uh, played by me on electric bass. Have a E minor nine going to what is that? Oh, B B flat sus thirteen and then going to B flat seven alt. So those are, those are what the chords are under that. So I'll play the chords now with that. Got some RC twenty on this uh, road sound from Analog Lab and then a bit of saturation. And I'm side chaining uh, the roads to the kick. So what does that mean? So up here, my kick side chain. Well, so what is a side chain? A side chain is gonna make it so the sound ducks every time your side chain is hitting. So I have this kick hitting four on the floor. I've muted it. So if you want to set this up in your own Ableton session, I see it's an actual kick, but I mute it come down to the compressor here I click this sidechain button I enable it and then I select which sidechain I want to use and then you can mess with the ratio attack and release and threshold to get it to pump um, however you want it so it's a kind of subtle in and out sound but 
I feel like a lot of house bridges like Keitronada and Como really use this, so it's really important. So on top of that road sound, I have this uh, counter melody that goes over all the chords. It's kind of going between um, B flat, F, A flat. Then I have this voice sound from um, Arcade of Output with some ping pong delay on it. RC20 and two a bit of delay. And I have this string melody, which is side chain, and both of these strings are side chain. And they're both an octave apart, it's the same melody and octave apart. And then behind that, I always think it's super important just to have some ambiance. Uh, so I have a little slight vinyl crackling sound and a crowd sound. Just fills out the mix, makes it um, more full. I guess when you're doing this style harmonically, I feel like a lot of the producers always have that um, one chord having the, they always really do like an altered chord going back to the one. So you have a call and then something suspended, predominant to dominant. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the tutorial. The tutorial. I stuck to organic instruments. A lot of my drums are very organic sounding. I'm using real bass, uh, real roads, and real string sounds. I think one thing you could also do is add vintage synths. So if you wanted to use like Juno sounds or DX7 sounds, um, they would pair nicely with this. But the general palette when you're making this like vintage house with a modern feel is a lot of real instruments and maybe a little bit of synthesized. Like if I was going to do another section, I would probably have like some Juno chords or some sort of interesting synth that matched along with it. Yeah, but I think it's all about the synths being with the, um, the real instruments and the real roads. And I think a lot of that takes inspiration from like old Herbie Hancock recordings. Um, when he used synths with his roads, um, just that type of sound. So that's it. Uh, that's the tutorial. Let me know what type of uh, other songs or music you want to see me break down. Just put it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.